Okay, welcome back to Starfield on Alpha Centauri, actually the planet Jemison. Of course, I'm. <laughs> I guess I'm the traveler, Eric Malkavian. So, there are a few things I wanted to do. Um, right now. We don't need this on. Um, right. Right. And we want to take a look around. Let's take a look at our uh, journal. We do have a skill point. So, commerce, in the settled symptoms, free market economy, almost anyone with the right skill set can open and run a successful business. Access to brand new worlds means access to brand new ingredients. Okay, so if you want to be a chef, persuasion, scavenging. Unlock this chance you'll find extra credits when searching containers. Ooh. Unlock the ability. What I would like to increase my skill in lock picking. Security. You can attempt okay, so I already have this ability. Now, targeting control system. Lock ship targeting functionality. Missile weapons are favored because they can lock onto an enemy ship. But an intimate knowledge of tracking system systems can make them even more effective. Hmm. Surveying. Humanity now has access to untold alien worlds. The ability to decipher that data. Okay, lock. An optional zoom to the hand scanner. That might be helpful. Resources required to craft items. Complete research. Unlock med packs. I'd like to be able to create those. You know what? Speaking of creating, I need to go buy med packs. Now, Lasers, dueling, unlock melee weapons do 25% more damage. Ballistic weapons do 10% more damage. Now, intimidation, leadership. I might want to invest in that. Weightlifting, wellness. Increase your maximum health by 10%. Hmm. Fitness. Hmm. Negotiation. Social skills. Pickpocketing is a risky biz. Increase grab jump range. A lot of these are just, no, they're just boost to skills, you know, boost to functions. It's, it's ship targeting functionality, advanced attack skills, shield systems. Well, that could be nice. Hmm. I think I'm going to grab jump. Hmm. Go and get the surveying. I can see how that will come in handy. Okay, so we've taken a look around. Suck it. I 
kind of like that sitting there. Tissies. Tissies. Okay, so. Let's see. What do we have to do? We've got some missions to do. There was a way I can. What if I can just jump straight to missions? Nope. Missions. Okay. The old name. Sarah wanted to talk to me about my first mission. Okay. All right. One small step. Did that. That should be under completed. Okay. And it is. Check out the Constellations mission board. Let's go do that. Let's see where that's at. She said we can. Sir Livingston's journal. Uh, I assume it's sitting there for a reason. Martini glass. Swap down new religious things. I, won't. I know you too well to believe that. You've got to have a line on something. Well, okay, fine. I had heard that Buddha's tooth may still exist. I was trying to find out if there's any truth to it. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. Well, best of luck. Buddha's tooth. So why do they have a picture of Queen Elizabeth II? Oops. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I like the uh, Apollo 11 statue. I assume that is Sir Edmund Hillary. First man, well, supposed, well, the first English man to arrive at the North Pole. Doesn't mean he's the first man to arrive there. That's for sure. It's kind of quiet out here. Strange. Someone's making drawings of the mast building. Hmm. Someone has a bit of architect 
architectural flair in them. Um, full stack program? Mercury camera? Okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was Queen Elizabeth in a uh, helmet. Uh, who's that guy supposed to be? <laughs> well, I suppose that station in orbit has more than paid for itself at this point. What? Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Quite. That was an apology. You can do better. I am sorry I besmirched your chosen profession and made assumptions about your character. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft-times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. Glad to... Glad to be By the way... In addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. Okay. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects. Really? If you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. What's your role in Constellation? Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. You're the finance. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. Mm. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're on to something big here. Well, as far as I know, businesses don't give things, they make investments. So this is an investment for you. What type of company is Stroud Eklund? You manufacture ships, correct? We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. I see. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. <laughs> I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Um, you kind of lost me there. Okay, so do you think the vision I'm... I had means anything? Up until very recently, uh, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. Really? But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Uh, no, not really. Um... I haven't hit my head recently, if that's what you're asking. Not exactly, no. <laughs> but I suppose it doesn't matter. You saw something. Barrett saw something. That's an unlikely coincidence. Absolutely. I'm no scientist. I leave that to your the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Okay. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Okay, well, it's fine. All right, good talking with you.
Uh, it certainly isn't where I expect you to be. Um, yep, I assume you have offices here. Funny thing about companies. You build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. Okay. Good talking with you. Goodbye. Tail. Hola. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, I'm told that when I'm an explorer not here, I'm like you. By what I might be it's really good to have you with us. Wind up crabby. Or my personal favorite, irascible. My darling Issa has concluded that it is in both of our best interests if I can spend my time working from the lodge as often as possible. One second, uh, okay, then. Mateo. I guess if you're both okay with it. All right. So these artifacts all came out of a cave. Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. Kazal. The first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Who found it? Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Well, where did that first one come from? That's why I have not heard. Where did it come from? So what brought you to Constellation? Hey, Sarah, well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. Hold up, sir. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter, Turned out he I'm owned the corporation. Bank account, aren't I? After a long talk, you we realized we you had a lot in common, spare. and I was invited to join Constellation. Right. Okay, one second. And now she stopped talking. Hey, I'll talk with you in a second, sir. <laughs> it's just all very strange. Um, so what brought you to Constellation? Again? Well, there Sorry, was that. some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. Religious I had made a really relics. incredible discovery only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. He's in the process, you, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. Whoops. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common. Right. And I was invited to join Constellation. I'll talk to you in a second, sir. I promise you. So what do you make of these visions? I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge here. otherwise. <laughs> Both you and Barrett saw it. something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Right. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? Like, I don't want to necessarily gosh, use the words yes. divine revelation, but you know, if the label fits. Right, okay. Um, Give me a second, I'll talk to you. Nah, I better finish this. We better finish talking. I know it's something. Maybe I was just going. All I know is I've never experienced. You think this is? A, you think this is a religious experience? Not necessarily. No. What do you think? But it does kind of have the hallmarks of one, doesn't it? I'm certainly not going to rule it out just yet. Okay. Um. Okay. Great. I'll talk to you later. Take care of yourself. Right, I, let me go over and talk to Sarah. She was giving me the high sign. Sarah? Sarah? Okay, uh, Sarah? Now she doesn't want to look at Hey. Whenever you're up for it, we have work to do. Okay, I see. I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. Okay. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. 
That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Okay. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Um, like work never pays off quite this way. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Other people have artifacts? We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. Oh. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Well, hold on a second. This doesn't look like a uh, an odd rock. Uh, so the Vanguard is... Isn't the Vanguard that military organization for the UC? A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. Right, right. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. Okay. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Okay, so we're going to walk over there. Mm, let's see here. Okay. Well, I do have to admit I'm excited about our first mission. Felt the same way when I started, too. Uh -huh. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. I wouldn't go that far. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. Good. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Okay, that sounds great. Um, you and me until we get that. Actually, there's some things I want to do my own first. Um... What did I get? Actually, um, there's a few things I want to do my own. Uh, God, you and me, till we get that iron. Um, crap. I want to. Sarah will be locked as your follower if you continue. Oh crap. Um, can. I, okay, I don't know what's gonna happen here. This is out of character. I want to go to the well. Uh. There's a few things I want to do on my own first. Go ahead. Just don't take too long or my contact's information might go bad. Okay, great. Great, great, great. Okay, I'm going to run down to the well. Okay. One sec. Okay, we're going to run down to the well. I think the well is around here somewhere. I'm going to run over to the wells. See what's going on with those brown outs. It seems like they're they're having a few uh, issues with that. And uh, okay, so um, I hit the J key. Good, 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 good. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, miscellaneous mission activity. This is where we're going right now. Right. So, yeah, I didn't want to drag her in at the well. Just didn't seem like a... Buy some, uh, crap. some med packs. Uh. I'm sorry. The majority me. of citizens here in New Atlantis count on Reliant Medical. I believe our reputation speaks for itself. Right, hello. Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. Perfect, doctor. Um, I could... You must see a lot of patients. Well, of course. 
New Atlantis is a big place. Right. Lots of people, which means no shortage of injuries, communicable diseases. But we're well staffed and do our best to accommodate anyone who needs help. Fantastic. Tell me more about Reliant Medical. Well, everyone knows Reliant, largest medical provider in the settled systems. Oh, They've spent decades advancing medical science with their research division and have built an entire supply network to keep us all healthy. Fantastic. They've always been quite proud to work here. Fantastic. I need some medical supplies. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, bye, bye, bye. He's got me he's got 12 of them. Wow, that's expensive. Um How many does he have? 12 of them. Let's buy Six. Oh, crap. Screw it. I'm probably, I probably could use more. What's a mobilizer? A mobilizer. Designed by rigid support to injured limbs. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a thing? Um. Ah, injector. Treats brain injury. How much does that cost? Uh, I better get one. I give me one of those. Take one of those. I better get some more med packs. I'm gonna regret it. What do these really do? Nothing at all. Four percent health for ten seconds. So it really only supplies forty percent health. I better not cheap out. I'm going to regret it. Just buy them. Okay. Um, what about selling? What can I sell you to, Doc? Okay, sell from ship's inventory. Okay, nothing. Um, take care of yourself. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, you are quite helpful. All right, that's excellent. I didn't know, but I suspected this would be the place to, to go. All right, lovely. Okay, so we are headed to the well. And then we will go ahead and Best I can figure is that it's within the mast building. I did want to make contact with that embassy for the uh, serpent. Protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities and to uphold yes. the values of the Vanguard. Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as members of the United Colonies Navy? I, I do. do. Then I'm proud to welcome you to the Vanguard. Now, you all have your assignments. Get out there and show them what the UC is made of. Supra et ultra. Huh. Okay, wow, that was quite a treat. I know we are coming 
back here. I'm looking for, uh... I'm looking for the well. Let me ask this young lady. Hello, miss. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Uh, no, I don't. I'm... If you don't have official business, we ask you remain in the lobby. Of course. Um... Can you tell me more about Mast? This? This is Mast. The beating heart of the United Colonies. Every decision made in the civilized galaxy takes place inside these walls. Um, and I assume you are the receptionist as well as a member of Mast. I'm one of Mast's resource officers. Right. It's my job to ensure those here on official business get where they're going promptly. All right, secure. And that any rule breaking is dealt with swiftly. <laughs> I don't know where to be myself. Okay, thank you very much. Enjoy your time in New Atlantis. Right. I don't think this is where I can find Matt. Um, the well at. I don't get this. Maybe it's... It's in there? What? As far as I can figure, um, this is leads to the transit system. Now, aha, look at that. Busy yourself a Megacorp, Megastar? Then jump on over to Neon and apply at Personat Ryujin Industries, the fastest rising corporation in all the settled systems. Power, prestige, money. As a member of the Ryujin family, you can have it all. Wow, sounds attractive. The Settled Systems News Network. News you can trust. Um. Oh. An elevator, of course. about a million things to do and I'm only one person it's so overwhelming hey oh you're not Carl no I'm not sorry I shouldn't assume maybe you go by Carl you're just not the Carl I was waiting for call me Gordon we're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here people have been reporting brownouts for a while and mass finally decided to follow up on it I can't be in two places at once and Carl isn't here so I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. Ah, uh, who's Carl? Co-worker of mine on this assignment with me. Clearly not taking it seriously. Not really surprising. Most folks are fine with ignoring what goes on down here. Um... So, what exactly are you investigating? I heard of some brownouts here. So you guys lose the power. Why? We're That's trying to isolate a power drain, which looks like it's the result of a large amount of power being rerouted through various subsystems. Oh, okay. But it's kind power. of a two-person job. Someone needs to find the junction boxes associated with those subsystems and power them down. The other person needs to monitor the system remotely. It's pretty simple, really, and relatively safe. Only a small chance of electrocution. Um, well, okay. Well, since you're here and Carl isn't, and I really want to get this solved, I will take you up on that. What I need is very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm oh, going to head to sorry. the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. 
Um, what? Okay. Captain Grey. Are you, are, I assume this is somewhere down here. Okay, DC surplus. Hold on. over here. Aha. Okay. So, you see surplus. Hey, can you hear me? I think this is working. I only have a general view of things, but you should be near the first junction box. Look for it mounted on the wall. When you find it, open it up and flip the big switch. I don't see why this guy isn't yelling at me for running back here. All this stuff is legit. Promise. So, I mean, <laughs> um. Yeah, they're probably like, who's this guy? Great job. So, that tripped the secondary breaker, and that goes to... Oh, wow, really? They wired it like that? Jeez, okay. Okay, got it. Next one is way down past Jake's. And maybe up a story or two? It's a bit of a hike. Sorry. I thought this place is supposed to be dangerous.
Give me your honest opinion. Do you think I could make it in the CEC? You could make it, sure. Surviving Excuse me. It is another story. Well, I did ask for honesty. Saw your ship come in. Nice ride. Thanks. Now if I can just find this, um... I need to find out what's going on here. Okay. Hello. I'm gonna be a big time space pilot someday. Gonna have my own ship, my own crew, my own corporate sponsor. Hey, uh, are you a pilot? I'm working on it. Taking the UC Vanguard exams. Saving up for my own ship. You know how it works. It's just taking a little longer than I expected. Okay. I'm something of a pilot myself. Damn, hotshot. <laughs> what are you doing down here then? Talking to you. This is the last place I'd be. Um, so what can you tell me? What can you tell me about the law? You want food? Go to Case. You want an attitude? Try Jake's. Okay. You want to feel empty inside? <laughs> Get your bags and move in. <laughs> uh, seriously though, this place is half doom and all gloom, which is precisely why I am leaving. Um. Well, yeah, most people who grow up here don't leave. Only because they're all a bunch of quitters whose only goal is to make it to the weekend. Okay. I got plans. I got ambition. All I need is a shot. I like you. Maybe I'll come talk to you later, okay? Uh huh. Hmm. I, like I tell her. you, coffee is the only thing that gets me I through like the day. So, I feel well, lost without Tara Brew. Um. So I'm looking around for this Jake place. Um. I need to borrow your ship this weekend. Is that okay? No, probably not. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I came up here before. Darn. I don't think I'm at Jinx, am I? I'm so nervous. What if they say no? Tracker agent, my duty is to inform and advise. Excuse me? Um, what's a tracker range? Been up there, huh? Space? Must be cool. I never get to go to space. Okay, glad to hear that. It's up here. Yikes. All hail our benevolent overlords. Descent to the ranks. Apparently that's the law. And it's been in existence from the beginning. No way. Someone should really bring it up with the powers that be. Okay. Well, 
supposed to open that? Wonder, let's see. <sighs> hey. Oh, uh, hello. You think Deimos Staryards would hire me? <laughs> what am I saying? Of course they would. I'm the best. Okay. Good talk. Later. You get around. <laughs> Can't be here because I haven't seen any place called Jake. Sergeant Yumi's looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Um, help the guard. She must have told him that I'm I'm available to do like run missions. Sergeant you. Is this Jake's? Seems like it has a Jake feel to it. Yes! Okay. So she says it's... I'll have to do a little climbing. Okay. Look at there. the grid I'm telling you it's a cover-up they don't want us to know the truth. Sometimes that's just how things are.
doing this for so long. How you liking that laser gun? Pew pew. I see no way of a laser. You know I went to chef school? This ain't exactly where I saw myself. Oh sure. Um I'm sorry. Hello? Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help you. If, however, you are here under false pretense, say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution, Who? then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. And I'd ask that you pass along my request to stop these silly games. So, what'll it be? I uh, don't know. I'm just looking around. Uh... Then my disclaimer doesn't apply, and I hope we have what you need. Please, let me know if I can assist you further. Uh, I'll talk with you. You need later. anything else? You know where to find us. Um... Pardon, miss. Hi. Yes, what? I said hi. Um... really weird. I don't know how to get to this location. Okay, hello. So it's up there. on a spaceship right with this switch I hope I'm as cool as Solomon Co when I grow up Aha! 
All right, you should be near the next junction box. This section isn't used very much these days, so it may be a little harder to see. Yeah, thanks. For nothing. That's the one. Next one's not too far. Dead end, right down from Jake's. Right under that apartment they've been trying to sell. Good luck with that, right? You're insane. I must be insane for doing this. Under that apartment they're trying to sell. Okay, well at least this one's easy. You should be near the next junction box. And if those squatters never cleared out, I would suggest avoiding eye contact. It should be fine. What? Another switch flipped, another lead to follow. And the lights in here just flickered too. The wiring is worse than I thought. I'm going to work on fixing that little issue while you find the next junction box. Looks like it's over near the... Uh... Mm, the Trade Authority. Okay. Just find that and, uh... Maybe don't talk to anyone about it just yet. What? Oh, good thing I've already been through the Trade Authority, so... I mean, she's not, uh... Hostile towards me. I don't really see what this is all about. I have a feeling I'm a flunky. I really didn't see any stairs. Okay, so yeah. There's no stairs through here. Okay, the final box I need you to deal with should be right around there. Unfortunately, I just realized you're in for a real tangle of cabling. Like 200 years of Phil attempts to rewire things. I tried to fix it three years back and was crying by the second day. Gave up on the third. Anyway, there should be a series of secondary breakers you need to deal with before you can access the junction box. I don't remember the order, but flip levers until all those circuits are powered down. Power down the junction box. Um... You got it. Really well done. You saved me like a week of work. Why didn't you meet me at the monitoring station near where we met?
thinking about taking my spouse to enhance for their birthday? Lisa. It'll be a gift for both of us. Did I say thank you? For it. Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. Well, as long as the money's good, I'll do what needs doing. Right, sure. Of course. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power drain. I know where it's coming from. Uh, okay. So Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. All right. The trade authority. So, that's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. If you want to tag along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. Um, sure, let's see where the story ends. Um, I mean, aren't you the head of this thing? Well, I doubt it. I really don't see what's so bad about this place, other than it being real nasty. They didn't seem so bad. It could just be a um <clears throat> Well Lisa. So thanks to you, we've got evidence that the trade authority is behind the power drain being reported down here. Okay. I don't know if you ever dealt with the trade authority, but Zoe is intimidating. Oh, she was scary. I have to go in there, but I <clears throat> really, really don't want to. You think you'd be willing to go with me? Just make sure this doesn't go badly? Oh, yes, yeah, she was terrifying. What are you worried about? I don't know. I feel like I'm the one who's going to wind up in trouble. It's always got a way of twisting things. Yeah, I got your back. Thanks. Mom. That means a lot. I can do the talking, I think. Just be ready for, well, anything. I hope I'm not going to have to shoot anybody. I'd rather not have to use this laser on anybody, plus I'm not wearing my armor. Those guys are armored. A visit hey. from Mast. How delightful. You'll have to remind me of your name, dear. I'm afraid I can't keep track of all you little worker drones. I'm Luisa Reyes. Well, you know that, because I've been in here three times. Yes, yes, of course you are. And what was it you were accusing me of with absolutely no evidence? The power drain is coming from your building, Zoe. You and I both know it, and now I can prove it. I'm sorry, what? We traced the drain, checked the grid. It led us here. You, you can't talk your way out of this. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to wait here a moment. I'll be right back. Talk to Louisa. Louisa, what's going on? Okay, just be ready for anything. I don't know if she's going to come out of there with a gun or call in mercenaries or what. I don't want this to turn out violent if we can avoid it, okay? Okay, uh... Uh... Alright, just relax. It's gonna be fine. I won't fire the first shot, but I'll fire the last That's... Dramatic, but reassuring, I guess. I better, uh, hold on a second. Um, hold on a second. <laughs> this is not gonna do a damn thing. <clears throat> uh, handheld silence. I'm gonna put that. I gotta put my space suit on.
Well, Miss Reyes, I apologize for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly assist in getting to the bottom of this. No, you're not weaseling out of this. You got to the bottom of it. You are the bottom. I appreciate your enthusiasm for your work, but I do a little more research before casting aspersions. Someone has indeed been using this location through which to route electrical power. It is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and have been keeping detailed notes, which I'm happy to share with you. For now, though, what do we do next? I... Wait, what? Oh, for heaven's sake. I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Well, clearly there's more work to be done. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. With Mast's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. And why. Um. Presumably, you're the one who's been doing the field work, so I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there in the well that needs your attention. Um. Okay, well, this is not how I saw this going. For the moment, let's assume this is all legitimate. I can sort out the details with Zoe, <laughs> so why don't you go investigate the next junction box? Okay, is that what you want me to do? Um, I would be careful. She sounds really dangerous. Oh my god. Think she might have a gun behind there? <laughs> okay, be careful. Um. <laughs>